What do you think about life on Earth and Earth itself? Pretty exciting, right? I mean, we're on a ball that's hurling through space around another ball that's made of fire. But if we compare it to space, it seems pretty boring. To demonstrate, we're bringing you 10 of the most insane facts about space. Just the sheer size of space and the huge secrets it holds is insane. But first, hit the subscribe button and the bell below for more videos like this. Number 1. Sunset on Mars is actually a different color. Sunset on Earth is a romantic and very pretty occasion. Orange hues mixed with dull, fiery tones creates an extraordinary view. On Mars, sunset in the same manner. When the sun goes down under the horizon, the sky turns blue. This is because Mars is quite farther away from the sun as compared to Earth, and also because Mars has an atmosphere with less fine dust than Earth, so it absorbs most of the blue light. It also gets rid of orange hues. Now we really want to see a sunset on Mars. We bet it's gorgeous. Number 2. Neutron stars spin at 600 rotations per second. The Earth is rotating at an incredible speed, more than a sports car in fact, but it is practically nothing when compared to the neutron stars. But what exactly are these neutron stars? They are one possible byproduct of the endpoint of high mass stars. If you ever heard of supernovas, you will know that some stars collapse in on themselves and this energy causes their material to rotate at insane speeds. Neutron stars are born of these explosions and can spin at 60 rotations per second right after they are born. This is usual circumstances. Under some conditions, these rotations can reach up to 600. Actually, the fastest spinning neutron has a rate of 717 rotations per second. Number 3. In space, no one can hear you scream. Maybe. No one can hear you scream in space is a common and vaguely threatening statement. But is it true? To come to a conclusion, let's look at some facts. Sounds travel in traverse waves, which basically means that it needs a medium to travel. That is, it cannot travel through vacuum. And it is common knowledge that space is vacuum. This common knowledge may be slightly off. How can space be filled with huge cosmic bodies and still be considered a vacuum? This is because most of it really is vacuum. We refer to all of it the same for convenience. So space is empty, but contains clouds of matter that are traveling. There may be enough of these clouds to gather and make sounds travel for even a millisecond. An example of this is a recording of a sound that was billions of times lower in frequency than humans could hear. And this sound came from a black hole. Number four, the sun is a bit scarier than we thought. The sun may be the most conspicuous part of our solar system. Its explosions make it possible for us to get great tans and also less important stuff like surviving. Also, 99% of our solar system is actually sun. If we look at things mass wide, our star is so dense that it actually contains all of this mass in a seemingly disproportionate body. This is why it dominates all other planets through gravitation as gravity depends on mass. Every second our star fuses approximately 600 million atoms hydrogen and converts them to helium. This process cannot be safely done in a lab. In this process, an insane 4 million tons of matter is converted to energy. When the sun dies, it will consume every single planet in our solar system. Scientists claim that that occurrence is about 5 billion years away, but you never know. Space is unpredictable and unexplored. Number five, cold welding occurs effortlessly in space. If you have heard of the term welding, you know it means to join two metals together. On Earth, we do this by melting and then sticking the metals together. In space, this process is done in the cold and without effort at all. In fact, if two metals of the same type touch each other in space, they stick together immediately. As for why this happens, metals in vacuum have no way of knowing that they are part of different pieces so they lump together to form a yield. On Earth, this is impossible because the metal is separated by atoms or air and even water droplets. So two metals know that they are separate and do not get welded. This has some serious implications for any future in vacuum and even spacecrafts. Number six, one of Saturn's moons has a very clear two-tone discoloration. Lepetus is one of Saturn's 62 moons and is a crazy celestial body. One of its sides is perpetually darker than the other. This is not a common occurrence with the moons. 
In fact, it is unique to Lepetus. Why is this so? Lepetus has a different position in relation to the rest of the 61 moons. It's way outside of Saturn's rings, which makes it most susceptible to being hit by debris. Over time, this repeated hitting and corrosion leads to discoloration we know today. Moreover, Phoebe, a moon that is completely dark, rotates around Lepetus and bombards it with particles. Lepetus revolves in the opposite direction as Phoebe, so only one of the sides gets hit and decolorizes. Number 7. One day on Venus is longer than one year on Earth. This might seem a bit weird as we describe a day as 24 hours. However, that's on Earth. Venus has an incredibly slow axis rotation. It takes more than 270 Earth days to complete one of its axis rotations. Actually, a pretty funny fact is that Venus takes less time than Earth to complete its orbit around the Sun. Number 8. Jupiter has the largest ocean in our solar system. One of the main requirements of sustaining human life is water, so it might seem a bit strange that the biggest ocean is actually not on Earth. But the ocean is filled with metallic hydrogen. Jupiter orbits around in a very large area of space. It is five times further away from the Sun than the Earth. Due to this fact, Jupiter retained quite a lot more hydrogen and helium during the Big Bang. In fact, most of that planet is hydrogen and helium. If we take into account Jupiter's high level of hydrogen, its mass, and its overall chemical compositions, we arrive at the conclusion that hydrogen near Jupiter was in the form of clouds. But the wacky pressure changes turned hydrogen into liquid, hence the slightly scary deep ocean. Computer models show that it is the largest ocean currently known, and also it is as deep as the Earth's circumference. Number 9. Water erupts instead of lava in some places. You probably thought of Hawaii when we mentioned volcanoes, but from now on, you'll think of Triton, Neptune's moon. Volcanoes on Earth require a kind of molten rock that we call lava, but it doesn't always have to be strictly lava. A volcano is formed when an underground reservoir of a hot fluid mineral, or even a gas, erupts onto the planet's surface. The exact composition of what exactly erupts can be greatly changed. On Earth, lava is made up of some very complicated elements like silicon, iron, magnesium, and some others we can't even pronounce. The volcanoes of Jupiter's moon appear to be filled with sulfur and sulfur dioxide. But let's come to Triton, Neptune's moon. The driving force here is ice, which is frozen water. Basic science lesson. Unlike other elements, water actually expands when it freezes and so it can put pressure on the area it is trapped in. If these pressures increase to where rocks can be broken down, a Cairo volcano is formed. Volcanoes can erupt with ice just as well as they can erupt with lava. Actually, on Earth, we do have small-scale eruptions caused by water. We call these geysers. Superheated water, when it comes in contact with superheated magma, create eruptions. But ice eruption is infinitely cooler. Wouldn't you agree? Number 10. The hottest planet isn't closest to the Sun. Almost everyone knows that the planet we call Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. It is less than half the distance away from the Sun as compared to Earth. So it should be the hottest planet, right? And Venus is the second planet away from the Sun. It is in fact 30 million miles or 48 million kilometers farther from the Sun than Mercury. So it should be cooler than Mercury. Both assumptions are wrong. Practically speaking, Mercury has literally no roof over itself. It has no atmosphere, no warming blanket, so it can't maintain the sun's heat. If we consider Venus, it is cloaked by an atmosphere that is a hundred times thicker than the Earth's. This in itself would serve to prevent some of the sun's heat inside and raise its overall temperature. Of course, this thickness is not the only reason for its reared temperature. The structure of the atmosphere is truly responsible. It is composed almost entirely of gas that is causing Earth to reach its expiry date because it heats up the air so fast. You guessed it, it's our favorite greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide lets in solar energy without protest, but it is much more reluctant to the letting go part. So, Venus has a temperature that rises way above the expectation and makes it the hottest planet. In fact, the average temperature on Venus is around 500 degrees Celsius. That is literally enough to melt metals. That is not to say that Mercury also doesn't have an insanely hot temperature, because it occasionally does. 
However, it varies so much that the average goes down. Do you share our sentiment that space is so scary and unpredictable? But also, we really want to visit it. Comment down below to let us know, and we will pin the best one. Make sure you like this video and share it with all the space enthusiasts you know. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we will catch you the next time we're exploring the universe, right here on Big Facts.